SJ76 presents Skirmish. Slim Jones plays himself. So over on the Imperial side, Darth Vader with his Driven by Hatred attachment. Onar Koma and the Wing Guard, given by the Temporary Alliance. Stormtrooper unit, and then two Death Trooper units. And then these command cards that I'm going to shuffle. Over on the Rebel side, we've got two big hitters. Han Solo and Chewbacca with their individual skirmish attachments, which lower their cost. And then I also gave Han Solo the combat suit. And then we've got the, the Alliance Rangers and the Rebel Troopers. Just imagine there's a red ring around those. I have to buy another unit and paint the ring red. They don't come with the game, you have to buy them, and they only come in sets of three, so I'd have to buy another thing and then paint them red for the Elite unit. And then here is the command cards that I'll shuffle for the Rebels. Determine initiative. The player who has the lowest total cost of deployment cards chooses which player begins the game with the initiative token. Both sides have 40. It's gonna be done randomly, so here's what I'll do. I'll roll two red die. All right, so this one is for the Empire. Whoever rolls the most uh, damage will go first. This is for the Empire. They got two. This is for the Rebels. They got two, so go again. Empire, two. Rebels, three. Rebels go first. Aha. So yeah, I'm doing this out of order. You're supposed to make your deployments and then your command deck and then shuffle these and then determine the mission the map based on the shuffling and that's after you've done everything and the mission is determined by this map that comes with the best pin gambit expansion pack i'm already playing against myself so i don't know how fair it's gonna be but i didn't take into account the mission objectives when i did make the group so hopefully it's somewhat balanced empire red rebels blue rebels boom they're on the blue side imperials Boom, they're on the red side. Man and Carbonite in the Bespin Tibana facility. Ooh, awesome map, four doors. When a hostile figure is defeated, his opponent may choose to place one of his mission tokens in that figure's space. The defeated figure is unconscious. Each figure a player controls can retrieve his mission token. I double checked retrieving tokens. A figure adjacent to or in the same space can perform an interact to retrieve the token. So that's an action to do that. A figure carrying a mission token can interact with the carbon freezing chamber, which is those four squares inside the impassable terrain, to discard the mission token and score victory points equal to the figure cost of the corresponding unconscious figure. Deploy units. The player who has initiative chooses the red or blue deployment zone. Draw command cards. Each player draws three cards from his command deck. Von... Two, trace. During setup, search your command deck for debts repaid. Reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, then draw one fewer card of your initial hand. I'm gonna randomly take away one of these and then I'm gonna draw debts repaid and then reshuffle. Basically, this attachment allows you to start with Chewbacca's when a friendly figure is defeated, ready your deployment card and become focused. We'll just have Han and Chewie take the lead like they should. Come on, Chewie. Can't do my Harrison Ford. I'll have to work on it. Should the Rangers hold down the station? Sure, why not? One, two, three. And they're gonna rush that way, I guess. And then the Rebel Troopers. The elite Rebel Troopers. Bum, bum, bum. They can just do whatever, I guess. Over here, you go ahead and get up there, and you can lead these boys here. Onar Khan. Onar Koma. Onar Khan. I think that might have been a cooler name, but I guess it doesn't go for an Aqualish. He's a Koma, not a Khan. All right, yeah. The wing guard will follow you down the wing. Stormtroopers. You know what? It's going to be Stormtroopers versus Rebels in the chamber. Just how it's gonna have to be. We gotta get, someone has to control that chamber because I mean, at the end of the day, that's where you gotta bring it. And then our two Death Trooper boys, I think I'm just gonna have them in the terminals here and go wherever Lord Vader sends you to. Uno. Dos. Yahtzee. We begin with the Rebels. One, two, one, two, three, Four, this Alliance Ranger is adjacent to this terminal, which makes them now in control of it. Each player draws one command card from his deck, plus one additional card for each terminal he controls. One, two, three, four. 
They are not going to open the door yet. The Alliance Rangers are tapped. Woo! You know what? We need to open this up. We can open it up for the Death Troopers to shoot through. So, one, two, interact. <laughs> oh, Narcoma opens the door. And then, he don't care. He steps in. Three, four. Because why wouldn't he? He's got 15 health. He's tapped. And we go back. <laughs> To the rebels. Rebel troopers. All of them use get into position. So all three of them become focused. So let me just go ahead and put a thing on the entire card. They can move eight now. I'm kind of thinking about the hallway. Kind of like, you know, the opening of A New Hope. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Da -da 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 -da, stack up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. The rebels are in position and they're all focused. Have the stormtroopers go over here and control the terminal and then open that door. Because they're going to be more aggressive than the rebels that might be playing it cautious. So the stormtrooper is going to go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. In position and in control of the terminal, plus one command card every round. One, two, three, four. He did that. This one uses his interact <laughs> to open the second door. Both the doors on the Imperial side are open, revealing the carbonite chamber. Stormtroopers are tapped. Back to the rebels. Still just so hesitant to open that door because I'm not so worried about Onar, but I mean. <laughs> Four. Tapped. All we have left is Chewy. So <laughs> Chewy moves up. Hang on, Chewy. Keep it quiet. There's something on the other side of the door. We're ready. And all they do is move, and they waste their second action. If only everyone had get into position. <laughs> the rebels are all tapped. So I got Wingard and then both of the Death Troopers. Two of these guys are gonna go over there with those and then he's gonna stick with Vader. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then these two guys. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Now that's, that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. The first shot is fired. The first shot is fired. And they've got a white defense dice. Okay, so we only have five accuracy to start off with and they needed seven. And the wing guard has nothing to increase accuracy, so the shot misses. The first shot of the game is a miss. <laughs> so the wing guard are tapped. Now we got both the death troopers. This one is going to go one, two, three. And he's gonna give Lord Vader a defense power token. Whenever he's getting attacked, he can lay that down and be like, I've got an automatic plus one block. Thanks, Death Trooper. And he's gonna shoot. One damage block and the surge is blocked. Accuracy isn't good. He's got a plus four, but he needed a three and didn't even get a number on this dice. Has a surge for plus two accuracy. Still needed a number and a surge, so it was a long shot. <laughs> Tapped. One, two, three, four. Tapped. Move again, one, two, three. He's gonna give a damage power token to this trooper. He can use it when he makes an attack. And then he finishes his double move. Done. That's the end of round one. A little look at the positioning here. Uh, so, we've got Han Solo and Chewbacca behind the door waiting to let loose. And we've got the rebel troopers getting shot at in the hallway by a death trooper and one of the wing guard over there. All right, so Darth Vader. At the end of each round, move up to two spaces, then you may use force choke or perform an attack. Darth Vader just creeps here. Force choke. He's alive by two. End of round one as we proceed to round two. Rebels have the initiative and they draw two because they have control of a terminal instead of one. The empires also have a terminal, so they draw two more. Rebel troopers are starting us off. 
This one who was choked by Lord Vader. He is out. But not before he tries to shoot at Lord Vader. It's a long shot because Vader has two defense die. And while defending, he can reroll one. Rebel Trooper who was choked by Vader shoots back. The accuracy is there. Only needed six. See? And he also cancels the surge. Only one damage, but one damage gets through on Vader. One, two, three, four. This one moves up one, six to hit the wing guard, and he fires. Four accuracy. Can use a surge to do two accuracy. Oh, wow. And because of aim, plus one damage and plus two accuracy, so it would have been even easier to hit. I said that he moved, so it's no good for this guy, but the guy that hit Vader would have done an extra damage right there. Vader actually got shot a little worse than we thought. So that surge is gonna be the accuracy. So two, three, four, five, six. He's got the accuracy then. So we've got one, two damage. Imperials use the parry. The accuracy is good because of that. That's canceled and that is canceled because of this. Only one damage on the wing guard. The discarded pile. After that, the rebel trooper is going to two. This rebel trooper. He hasn't moved, so he's got the, the plus two accuracy. Only blocks one damage. So I guess that surge will be the pierce of two. One, two, dead. Overkill by two, and then two leftover surge. This one fires. <laughs> and that actually brings us to our first death of the game and our first victory points of the game. The rebels get two victory points. They're tapped and they're no longer focused. Imperials. Lord Vader is not messing around. He plays his command card. Use during activation to gain a damage and defense power token. Then if you are a leader, which he is, an adjacent friendly figure gains defense and damage token. But he already has a defense and you can only have a max of two. So he's just gonna get the damage. One, two. <laughs> He'll then move in near Onar. Just like in the movies. a rip into Lord Vader. Lord Vader is going to use deflection. Minus two to the accuracy results. If uh, Vader doesn't suffer any damage, Han Solo is going to take two damage from the reflection. Darth Vader is going to use his defense power token as well. A plus one block. Blocking that damage. Han Solo does have a surge. Surge is going to be two damage is all he can do. Yeah, no good. Wow. Even with that surge, adding two more damage, it's still blocked by the three. After the attack is resolved, if you did not suffer any damage, the attacker suffers two damage. I negate that with a use of this card. Plus one damage. So it is just barely enough, which means that doesn't play. So very close. Han Solo opens the door. Vader almost deflects, but then he's scratched on the arm for one damage. Solo is tapped, but he did not take the deflect damage because of the use of the command card. Whoop de doo, doo that's how skirmish goes. Onar, he sees someone shooting at Vader, his employer. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Rushing in and pushing Han Solo. One space. Damage to Han Solo for being pushed, and damage to Onar Koma for pushing. And then he's going to fire. Han Solo is hard to hit, baby. Use while defending to reroll one defense die. Save your biscuits. Okay, awesome, perfect. And because of his ability, because he rolled in the evade, he gets plus two. So, nice. All of this is blocked. Onar Koma does three damage to Han, putting him at four. Normally, Han Solo couldn't interrupt to do an attack unless he didn't suffer damage. But because this card, he can return fire even if he suffered damage during the attack. Han Solo gets hit from the back, Ugh, spins around, turns fire. All right, Han Solo. Returns fire after getting shot in the back and pushed. 
So it looks like three damage from those two surges. One, two, three, six damage. That's nasty. Oh, uh, and it wasn't even his turn. It was his turn and he interrupted and did that. Wow. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Don't mess with Han Solo. Onar is tapped. <laughs> See that he's hurting his life debt companion. And he moves up right up in front of Onar. And he point blank shoots him with his Wookiee bowcaster. Three and then two surges. Surges. A stun and two damage. Three, four, five. Onar is definitely messed up. Uh, him being stunned basically gets rid of one of his actions because he can't attack or move without discarding the condition as an action. Once during your activation, you can slam without spending an action. Slam! Choose one addition hostile figure and roll the red die. And you can push him one space. Oh my goodness. Chewbacca grabs Onar and slams him down. That's exactly what he needed. Marks him. The rebels get six. One little thing, the rebels played celebration after Onar Koma was defeated. The rebels are going to place a mission token on Onar's unconscious body. Three. <sighs> Yell at Han to get back. Chewbacca is tapped. This Death Trooper moves up to help Lord Vader take care of Han Solo. One. <laughs> Look at that. Han Solo completely evades the attack, which is very fortunate because that would have been nasty. Wow. Wow. Wow! This Death Trooper finishes his turn by going two, three, four, and then he's going to use his ability to give Lord Vader a defense power token. And that's his turn. But, oh, you think we're going to go back to the Rebels? Nope. Psych! Field tactics. And these Stormtroopers hear it in their helmets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's going to move up. Just one here and defend Terminal. But these two are moving up and they're attacking. Han Solo will do the one in front. Han Solo is getting pretty tired after all he's done. Four damage in total. Yikes. Han Solo is at eight now. Then this one with the power token fires. Again. Oh no. Three damage. Eleven. Han Solo is barely hanging on. Wow, and that was just a regular Stormtrooper unit. And now to the Rebels. Captain Solo needs help. This one uses his action to open the door and then fire on that trooper there. Two damage on the Stormtrooper. He stumbles back, almost falling off the stairs. One, two, and fires at the one up front. Three damage, it's enough, outright. Can the Rebels stop winning, please? I kind of want the Empire to win. And I thought I was trying to make it fair. What is this? Three, four, face to face. Can he shoot at that Stormtrooper is the question. I'm gonna draw that line in animation after. Yep, it's legit. Here we go. Only six. If we can get an accuracy for a surge, plus one accuracy automatically. So it was all it's already a hit. This one from the terminal focuses. I'm backward off the stairs. Oh, clink. <laughs> Tapped. The wing guard activate. This one moves up in front of the trooper. One, two. And he all the damage is blocked. What can the surge do? It is going to be a damage. One damage on this ranger. This one's gonna move up and fire at him, needing an accuracy of seven. <laughs> Misses across the chamber. At the start of this death trooper's turn, he's going to give a damage to that wing guard. And then he's gonna fire at this one. Three, four, Five, six. That death trooper powers up the weapon of the wing guard and then... Ah! He then 
moves up. One, two, three, four. Three to the Empire. Finally, on the board. On the board, baby. At the end of round two. One, two, and before he chokes, Han Solo is going to exhaust this card to perform an attack. He spins around and shoots at Darth Vader. Darth Vader would have done his block there as well so and foresight while defending he may reroll one defense one die so he's gonna reroll this because he can't do any lower oh wow no good he's at five now lord vader then completes his end of the round attachment event <laughs> the empire puts down a mission token on han solo's unconscious body This is round three, by the way. Empire still controlling the terminal. Draw two more cards. And the rebels have initiative. Still control that terminal. Two. Chewbacca wants revenge. One, two, three. He shoots Darth Vader, point blank. He's got the tools for the job. He's gonna add a red to his already crazy Blue, red, yellow. He shoots Darth Vader point blank. Darth Vader re-rolls this one. Oh, perfect. Blocks all of the roll damage. We have a surge. Can't stun him because no damage was done. So we have to use the surge to do the two damage. Wow. Vader is tough. Oh, wow. Chewbacca picks up Darth Vader. And throws him. Definitely slams into that wall or something as he regains his bounce because he takes three damage from that. He gets slammed hard. No. Yeah. He's gonna move there for four. And Chewbacca's tapped. <laughs> Fires at this one. The trooper turns up against the stack of crates. And Chewbacca uses debt repaid. Ready to gain and focused. The Death Trooper then moves up next to Lord Vader. One, two, three, four. And then give Lord Vader a defense power token. That's what he needs. And then after he goes, he uses his field comms. <laughs> Telling this guy to go, basically, and he fires. Pierce is out. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and Chewbacca, his first damage. Here. Maybe because he's confident. He will use his thing to give the Death Trooper defense so they'll both be protected. Back to the Rebels. Chewbacca focused and back in the fight. Rips into this Death Trooper. Four damage before three surges. Stun and two damage. Six damage. <clears throat> Barely standing. Devastating blast. <sighs> Picks him up. Throws him. As his... Armor and his back cracks. Four more for the Rebels. Back, one, two. One, two, three, four. Attacks Chewbacca with his lightsaber. Canceled, canceled. Darth Vader does two damage and a surge. A pierce of three, baby. All three of that damage is good, so five. Darth Vader. <laughs> Putting him four away. And that's Darth Vader's turn. I didn't even do the power. And I gotta do it beforehand, so I forgot it. So he'll hold on to it, I guess. All of the rebel troopers open fire on Darth Vader. There's a pierce of two. One damage to Darth Vader. Point blank. Blocks all that damage. Uh, but they haven't moved, so they get plus one damage. So one, another scratch on Darth Vader. So yeah, if it was one scratch on Darth Vader, then it would have been two. And now it's three because of this one from the second attack. All right, we're all good. Now the rebels move. One, two. One, two, three, four. And one, two. Encouraged by Chewbacca. 
Where are the reinforcements? I think the rebels might have it, actually. Rebel troopers tapped. Back to the Empire. <sighs> Wingard are essentially going to perform a dash, moving twice across the carbonite chamber. We're running into the Terminator and bum rushing the uh, Alliance Ranger. Pretty interesting position. And they're tapped. Ranger. He shoots at this one that bum rushed him. Here we go. Tapped. And all I have is this stormtrooper. One, two, three, four. One, two. Complete. It's the end of round three. And choke Chewbacca for three damage, putting him at 13. <laughs> Round four. No longer have control of the terminal, so only one. Ooh. Still controlling the terminal. So two. Wow. Plus five health to Chewbacca. Instead of one away from dying, he's six away from dying. Math, woo! The Empire plays the reinforcements card. And we're gonna bring the wing guard back right here <laughs> as the reinforcement wing guard appear. It's a best pin facility, so it makes sense, doesn't it? The rebels are also going to use balancing force. Three figures for each of us. Red die recovery. That's nice for the rebels to do at the start of round four. Darth Vader, the balance of the force has him recovering too. This one over here only had one damage from that scrap with the Alliance Ranger, and he's recovered as well. Chewbacca and then those two rebels. Come on, give us three. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take it for sure. Yeah. That's a real good command card. Round four, baby, here we go, Chewbacca. Use during your activation to gain one power token of your choice. If you've suffered three or more damage, obviously he's at 11 right now. So he's going to gain two of his choice. A damage and a defense power token. He's got to take out Darth Vader. So he's just going to start with shooting at him. Darth Vader's going to reroll that one. Darth Vader used a defense power token. So there's still four damage and the surge is going to be a stun. Almost dead. One away. How insane. One, two, and slams Darth Vader. Darth Vader's dead. Chewbacca grabs Darth Vader, slams him against the wall. To the disbelief of everyone around, rebels place their other mission token on Darth Vader's unconscious body. 15. So the rebels are at 35. 1, 2. Back to where he was. He didn't even use his power token. He didn't need to. Chewbacca's going strong. So the Empire don't have a lot of options. This wing guard is gonna try and take out this Alliance Ranger by the terminal. But if we don't move the Stormtrooper, the Rebels are gonna go in there and kill that Stormtrooper for sure. The Stormtrooper is gonna do his duty to the Empire. He interacts with Han Solo's unconscious body. And then he moves with Han Solo. One, two, three. He has to wait to interact. Stormtrooper's tapped. Back to the Rebels. This one here. Just moves up and shoots around the corner. Only a damage. This one stays where he is and fires at the Death Trooper. And the Death Trooper has a defense power token against a damage from aiming. Two damage. This one, one, two, three. As this one moves into position, fire around the corner at the Death Trooper. One damage. His last movement point here. This one's gonna move around Chewbacca to give him some cover. All right, back to the Empire. <sighs> this Death Trooper is very obviously going to shoot this rebel plane. One damage gets through. In the scuffle. One, two, three, four. 
moves over the body of Lord Vader and secures the stormtrooper as he knows he must fulfill the objective for the Emperor. He uses his field tactics to activate the wing guard. Roger! This one with the power token. Only two away. Fires. Adds an extra damage. Search for two damage is the way to go. And then moves up. So, one, two, three, four. These wing guards move in to attack Chewbacca. All right, one damage gets through on Chewbacca. That wouldn't have got through, actually. Blocked, blocked, and blocked. He's aware now, but maybe this one can be more effective. He's in the struggle with this rebel trooper. <sighs> blocked, 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 blocked. The wing guard are ineffective against Chewbacca, it seems. As we go back to the rebels. The Alliance Ranger. So he needs to secure that terminal. So he fires. <laughs> The wing guard blocked the attack. <laughs> Tapped. The rebel troopers make their moves. This one defends Chewbacca. <laughs> he won't move. He's staying right there, so he gets the plus one. And that's a pierce of two, so that takes that away. So two damage. This elite rebel trooper tries to put him down. <laughs> this one here is going to not move to get the aim bonus and shoot at that death trooper. So one damage gets through, okay, on the Death Trooper. He hames, barely able to scratch. This rebel goes one, two, three, four. Fires the Stormtrooper. All blocked. That's the end of the round. I just realized that I played them twice in a round, but that's okay. Round five. Terminal's no longer controlled. No one has any terminal, so it's just drawing one. And then over here, Take initiative. The rebels are gonna play take initiative. Use at the start of the round to claim the initiative token, then exhaust one of your deployment cards. So the rebels are gonna play this and, ex and take the initiative and they're gonna exhaust the Alliance Ranger. So the Empire take the initiative back and exhaust the Stormtrooper. Death Trooper as he fires at this rebel. Can the rebel dodge? He holds his position, activating the wing guard. Once again, firing at Chewbacca, trying to take him down. The one in the corner. He fires at the rebel. Nasty. Ducks as the shot goes. Back over here in the clinch, over the terminal. Another damage gets through. The wing guard is starting to overpower. Ranger here. Uh, and the Empire is all but tapped as Chewbacca makes his turn. One, two, and shoots as he's blasted into the corner. Slowly turns with the rage in his eyes. Oh, oh no, no. Slammed. Three, four. To see what the is going on over here. And that's Chewbacca's turn. End of round five as we move to round six. Add the two wing guard that have been taken out. The rebels draw. Recovered. Great. The Empire draws. Lure of the dark side, which I'm gonna immediately discard because my only force user is dead. The death trooper. I'll take it. Three damage on you. <laughs> Elite rebel. They're gonna rotate and see what's going on over here. And then he used his second action since he didn't move to recover too. <laughs> Scrambled communications field comes into the stormtrooper's headset as he activates and he uses his interaction to put Han Solo in the carbonite. Freezes Han Solo in carbonite. Twenty-six to thirty-nine, not looking good. He's gonna retreat back to this terminal. One, two, three, four, five. 
the smuggler is trying to try and get this wing guard off of him for good. The wing guard is blasted back. Back to the Empire. The wing guard fights back. The wing guard puts his pistol underneath the chin of the Alliance Ranger and disintegrates his face as the Empire takes control of the terminal. Plus three. He's gonna stay there. This rebel here uses his interaction to pick up Darth Vader's unconscious body. And then he uses recovery to recover the damage he's taken. This rebel is blocked by Chewbacca, blocked by the blocking terrain. So he has to go one, two, three, four, as he moves up into position to fire. He has to block everything. He moves up around the crates and fires. <laughs> Rotates, realizing that there's a death trooper in the carbon freezing chamber. He moves. One, two, three, four. To shoot the death trooper point blank on the stairs of the carbon freezing chamber. Seven damage. Just enough to kill him outright. <laughs> the death trooper. There's no one near for Chewbacca to slam, so that's the end of round six. On to round seven. The Empire draws their command card. Wait, a friendly trooper with a figure cost of four of greater. Their figure cost is only two, so it would have to be like a death trooper. Ugh, oh, lame. Useless. And then the rebels. This stormtrooper runs for his life. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This rebel here takes Darth Vader's body. One, two, three, four. Interacting with the carbonite chamber. Plus 15 for the rebels. This rebel here moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, to interact with Onar Koma's body next time. Chewbacca. <laughs> the surge gives him the accuracy to hit. It hits with two damage. To kill the stormtrooper. <laughs> two for the stormtrooper. The last Imperial unit in the Tabana facility is dropped by Chewbacca's bowcaster. <laughs> that would be Round eight, this one would interact with Onar Koma's body. And then one, two, three, four. Round nine, move here, interact. Onar Koma is also frozen in carbonite. And there you have it. I honestly thought the Empire had the advantage in the beginning, but I guess two heroes, just too much. No one could do damage to Chewbacca in the end. So really, you know, tough, man. Chewbacca is good. Chewbacca is real good. The elite rebel troopers weren't too bad either. They lasted the whole game. 68 to 32, man and carbonite. Hope you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this stuff. See you later.